Awesome. That, that's going to be great. They need that kind of FF7 fun in here. Ben Star! <laughs> We're joined by the, the voice of, of Clive from Final Fantasy 16. He's here in the chat. <laughs> We were watching him speak on the screen, and then he appeared in real life. Me watching you, watching me watch you. Welcome, everyone. If you're new, my name is Philip. I'm an actor and filmmaker. Today, we're going to be watching and reacting to this beautiful interview that Ben Starr, the voice of Clive from Final Fantasy 16, just gave. I'm very invested, personally, in the performances of this game and how it's going to be possibly elevated in a different way compared to some of the older Final Fantasies because of this more uh, naturalistic way of performance. Oh, let's look at what Ben Starr has to say considering all this. I, I'm not used to being this candid though. <laughs> I've been hiding behind Clive for, for years now. He has been having to hold on to this information for what, four years that he's Clive? It's insane. Love. Oh. That's a... Now that's an interesting answer, isn't it? Throughout the entirety of the game, yeah we see that manifest itself in multiple ways. You spend time with him for such a long time, you realize he is funny and he mm. does, mm. you know, care about people and he has, it's the small things that he mm. does, mm. I think, that make him like a really complex character. Awesome, funny. That, that's that. gonna be great. They need that really kind of FF7 fun, fun in fun. here. By the way guys, make sure to subscribe if you're a new member. We'd love to have you as part of the community. You've given me and all the cast great license to create the characters from scratch. You know, it was amazing how we could. This we could just step into the booth. Is very exciting. Bring ourselves to it. You know, this is what I was talking about. Performances meant that um, there wasn't a template. It was us. And we were, we I've been with Clive for years. <laughs> it seems um, like this is going to be something just, special, guys. To give them that years, license is a humongous risk a person. and trust. So it's very good. I, um, now, this is what I'm interested in because Ben is a, is a Final Fantasy super fan, if you don't know. Incredibly helpful knowing the legacy of the crystals. It was, it, it, it was daunting, mm -hmm. I think, because of the amazing performances that have come before. Um, I grew I grew up with these performances. They they changed my life. Mm -hmm. um, they're the stories that mean the most to me. That's so that's so and heartwarming, so man. When you he's just like us, life, man. You know, loves Final you Fantasy play Clive. In another interview, he said, "Nothing will top this because it's Final Fantasy." I, I, that's so heartwarming, man. This is immortal. <laughs> this lives forever. It doesn't change. And yeah, I, that's I want big, people, man. Being in a project like this. The people who've never played a Final Fantasy mm -hmm. before, mm -hmm. they're going to play this for the first time, and this is going to be their first entry into the series. Mm -hmm. And that's what I wanted to bring. I wanted people to go, I'm going to fall in love with this series, with this game, and this character, and then people are going to get to know Lightning, they're going to get to know Noctis, they're going to get to know Terra, all of these like, amazing characters. He's name dropping, baby, but he knows his stuff. You want our first Noctis choice. and you Terra, that's, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah, good yeah, range yeah, of Final yeah. Fantasy right there. The Lightning, dude. That's a based I, answer. I, I, don't know what I, should say. <laughs> like, I wonder who this Clyde actor or celebrity was. was. That really does sound like fate. That's awesome. I, think it would I don't think they would fit the character as well as him. It's really true. Like Ben is amazing. Really unique texture to his voice. So it sounds like they actually heard it and went, "Let's let let's have him read for Clive." Hold on a second. And it just clicked. Mm. I found myself getting incredibly emotional. I found myself being able to go places that unlocked mm. parts of me, and it was just a sight read. And um, it that's went really well. very cool. And I, I, what a what a, yeah, what a day that I must have been. It, yes. You're going to go through 14. Is that that is 14? That is correct. Yes. Oh yes. boy. And now that I've said it in front of you, I have to do it. <laughs> you have He's to like, do I'm it. committed you now. I got it for PS3 I too. A Realm Reborn. The end of a Realm Reborn. Mm. Um, and I absolutely loved it, and I just never came back to Heavensward, and I would love to start it again. And See, it, it sounds like he's in the same, uh, it sounds like he's the same boat as me and a lot of people. Played a Realm Reborn, didn't continue on past that. Very, very useless. Ben Star! So sorry for how Ben Star in the flesh is here. But yeah, please be patient and How you doing, sir? It's great to see you. Me watching you, watching me watch you. <laughs> Welcome, man. It's a pleasure to have you. We're also watching the chat of Ben Star. <laughs> How you doing, man? It's so nice to have you. Hey, we'll pause it for a second because he's here. 
How you doing, man? Loving the interview, man. I, I talked a bit before on the channel about uh, from what we've seen in the game, it seems like you guys are just... It seems like the performances are going to be very raw, very real, because... <laughs> don't mind the cat. Uh, of the facial capture, because as far as I know, no other Final Fantasy has had this facial capture along with the voice acting by the same person by the same actor so it's gonna be really significant just from like a, a body language standpoint really exciting raw and real is the major note oh man and that's I guess that's what it really hit me on that first it, it was when we saw a little bit more of the footage like we had heard just little little clips of you know picked uh, hand-picked lines for the trailers which were great but when we saw that first footage um, and I think it was with it was with you Nina uh, and Ralph in the scene. So that'd be with Sid and Benedicta. And just just hearing the sort of interplay, it just made me realize, whoa, whoa, this is a this is different. This is a whole different ballpark to uh, to the usual Final Fantasy feel. And again, I don't I don't not necessarily not necessarily saying either either style is better or worse or whatever. But it's just such a raw kind of honest performance. And it hit me right there. And I think it was almost subconscious. I didn't know what that meant. But then I saw a picture of you on Twitter when you had, it's like, oh, first day with the, with the rig on. And it really seemed like, oh, okay, yeah. That's when it hit me. This is going to be a different thing. So that must have been so powerful, man. Because I know from a lot of people, even um, Ray Chase, who's, who's great. We've had, we've had Ray Chase on the channel who played Noctis, speaking of Noctis. And uh, um, largely his performance was, you know, kind of classic uh, anime style. He's, he's in the booth alone. And he's he's kind of you know giving his delivery based on what the director tells him as opposed to playing off his fellow actor. So I'm super excited just for that, Ben. It must have been it must have been a mind blowing experience. Everyone's performance shook me. Yeah, and that that scene in particular um, made both me and Aaliyah say like it, it really heightened our interest in the game. Wow, Phil, your stream is so cool. <laughs> I'm so glad Chad is behaving themselves. All right, and there you go. We got a sub gift. To the Ben Star. Let's get some cowards to die first in the chat if you guys got it. I feel like it's very appropriate for Clive's character. <laughs> Thank you so much for the sub gift to Ben Kurai. I appreciate you so much. So glad you enjoyed it. There are many more brilliant characters. Yeah, I think that's what uh, that's what's been really exciting is both you and and a lot of the cast and crew have said, uh, you know. There's, there's so much more to be seen here. We've seen so little of the story. That's very promising. Because uh, just sort of the size of the story in this game, they drop some of the, the numbers of hours. And I think it ends up being like, uh, you know, longer than a, than a whole TV series length. <laughs> like an entire season of television. Just the, uh, the story in this game, like not counting side quests. So it's just exciting that we're going to be able to speak spend this much time with these characters and really sink our teeth into the into the humanity i got chills when i heard the line slept in a gutter yeah that was a great line absolutely yeah that was that was a part of the uh the state of play showcase i think they just worked that worked that little scene in there that's a great question Aaliyah. does ben have a personal favorite final fantasy character because from what you said in the interview ben it sounds like uh which we paused, you know, not not to have Ben talk over himself here. <laughs> uh, it seems like he played a lot of the games. A lot of games, which is just so exciting. Final Fantasy, it's so rare these days when a, when a main numbered Final Fantasy approaches and comes out. And it's just so special that, you know, sometimes it's once in a decade. So it becomes this, like, marker on your life, and you can think back. You know, uh, you can think, where was I when I played FF15 when it first came out? That was, that was 2016, right? So it becomes this, like, significant, you know, uh, memorable thing when a Final Fantasy... It's a big celebration. So it must be unbelievable for Ben to have, like, played all these games and be like, Oh, that's right. I'm in this one. <laughs> I'm the face of this one. Favorite character is probably Balthier. That is, is fantastic, Matt. That is a perfect choice. Fran and Balthier, yeah, me and Aaliyah always, always say Fran and Balthier deserve their own uh, side story. It would be so amazing. 
And we always talk about Fran. It's like, there's so much there. How did Fran and Balthier meet? We love Yasumi Matsuno. That's another, that's another reason we're so excited for the game, Ben, for 16, is me and Aaliyah, really, really big fans of Yasumi Matsuno, who, who directed FF12, Vagrant Story, Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Ogre, just these, like, and, and sort of the cool thing is Final Fantasy 16 is kind of like carrying on the mantle of what Matsuno started with this kind of like this Ivelisse style, this, this kind of really unique medieval aesthetic with its own twists and its own atmosphere, you know, that is Ivelisse. And uh, it's going to be so much fun that a lot of these, a lot of the crew members actually kind of hail from his legacy. They've worked with him in the past. So it's just going to be so great to kind of return to that aesthetic, which we really haven't had since FF12, if you think about it. When I heard that you guys have been holding on to this information for four years, man, that is an excruciating amount of time. <laughs> Did I actually do this? Am I Clive? Does this game exist? Like, it must have been maddening to hold on to it for that long. Yeah, Ben, I can't wait, man. We're, we're super excited to chat with you. We're super excited to chat with you, uh, especially after it comes out. I've been lying for years. <laughs> uh, we're super excited to have you, man. We might be able to see you in person soon, um, but either way, you know, regardless of that, we're we're super excited to chat with you after the game because, uh, you know, we'll really be able to dive into some of the uh, some of the details of the, of the plot and everything, which I think is going to be very fun because we've done that with a few of the actors from Final Fantasy VII Remake on the channel. Uh, the voice of Barrett, the voice of Jesse, uh, the voice of Roche, which is awesome. Absolutely, Ben. I, I appreciate you stopping by so much. What a what a hilarious surprise. <laughs> yeah. What a what a great timing that you stopped by too. But thank you again, Ben. You know, everybody let's let's you know send some cheers to Ben and we cannot wait to talk with you. Thank you so much for being here and we are super excited to look at your work in the full game. We're really excited to have him uh, to have him on the channel in in the flesh, so to speak. Um, so that's going to be so much fun. Uh, we're going to try to have Ben on uh, after the game releases. So because, uh, you know, we were really hyped up and I was like, oh, Ben, we'd love to have you on. Um, but I thought to myself, you know, it'd be so much more fun after we played it, you know, even even just a little bit to have him on, uh, to have more to talk about. That's that's concrete storytelling and not to just speak in kind of like spoiler free ether about it you know awesome man what a treat what an amazing treat that was hey eh, guys <laughs>